face. I get to look at the sarcastic response of Henry's face every time I say something. How are you this morning? I'm very well. How are you? I'm great. Yeah. I, I'm ready to roll. I think we're exciting. Today's the day. Chopping blocks and glory, like Henry, or excuse me, like Henry said. Like Richard said, we've he got did. two teams going home and two teams moving on. It's quite exciting. I'm quite happy the map's coming to Dust2 as well. Obviously, it's due to it's probably their absolute best map, but like the guys on Jess were saying, it's a skill-based map. Anything can happen. Vegas Gordon are a skill team. There's a reason why they are here. They're aggressive on the CT side as well. I'm interested to see what they present here. They will be starting on the CT side. Have oh, a look at the buy now for G2. Will be four sets of armor. Scream, he's got the smoke. He normally used to buy the Deagle on this map as well. So it's interesting they go for a more tactical approach. JR, though, he's opening things up. Takes the bomb down, gets oh, a double oh. and a triple. This is an exciting way to kick things off. He goes down eventually, but now a four on two. JR just lit them up. They look stunned by that. He hits the first shot, takes two steps back. No one swings for a peek, and then a flash came through. He lines up two more. What? Look at this first shot. There's a position there for body, and he goes, oh, wait, we're not going. And then he gets caught by a flash. And I don't think it was full duration because Scream threw it over, hesitated on it. Not sure where it bounced to catch him in that position, but either way, that's brilliant aim from JR. He's yeah. awake in the morning. Never mind cobwebs. Absolutely. He's blowing them out of the water, London, the cobwebs, and it's going to be round number two. All right, then. Well, that's sending a message out to GT. Not going to be the easy run we maybe thought it would be. They are going to be forcing the second, of course. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Map G2 are very good on these second round four spies. Deagles, Tech Nines, going up towards shorts where they'll normally end up. Try and get that short plant down and we'll have a look at the Bifer Vegas squadron as well. It's one M4, two uh, UMPs of MP9 and a scout. So, Shoxy though, the danger man on the server right now, especially with Desert Eagle in his hand. Let's see if he can get things rolling here. It will be smoked out for now, like I said. Get up towards short, get that control, try and push the CDs back, bait out some utility, and then try and get the bomb down. Scream will be the one to wait as well. Smith says bomb behind him. Shock's already posted up in lower. Now, whether or not with pistols, he'll stay there to catch rotations or join in to add additional firepower on potentially what's going to be a catwalk take. We'll wait and see. The issue is crossing back over that door. Chopper and Mir are both waiting for him to do so, and he doesn't have any utility in place. Instead, he goes for the deagle shots. No damage through it. His teammates are going to go. They'll know he's still in the middle. Lovely shot again from JR. Four headshots on four bullets fired. His body will finally take down his teammate, Tech 9, to do so. That'll give the bomb a little more access onto the site. And smartly, JR tagged up is going to go way back toward long. They'll play a retake. So they are playing this smartly, but Shox is doing exactly what we suggested. Waiting in behind the mid door as well. For the pushes through times it. Does the deagle work? Certainly does. Headshot into Hoot G. But meanwhile, Mir's gone decently well on top of the site to pull this back. It's down to just RPK. And now Shox, I say just RPK, meaning on the site itself. Shox has to rotate around. Now, they don't get on the bomb right away. They do have a kit. Mir's going to be the one to try and do so, but he's down to two seconds, and yeah, Shox isn't going to be able to do anything of it. Yeah, he tried his best. He did find a fractal. Was did he spawn a little bit too far removed from that situation? But you know what? That's fine for G2. They got the bomb down. They managed to get a couple of kills in the process as well, dent in the economy of the CTs. Shox is towards did he spawn, rotates back towards short, but just takes a little bit too long there. Had low speed, just a UMP in hand, and he manages to actually save the weapon as well. So that's fine. They're managing to maybe cause some more damage into going into this one. It's going to be PT-50s and UMPs. Shocks. RPK going to work over toward B. Mir and Hoochie going to be the ones heading in that direction. Shocks is going to go on to that UMP. Keep that in play. He's got armor to go with it, as to just scream on a deagle. Yes, yeah, quite a big investment, all things considered. They did get the bomb down, but we'll see whether they can get rolling here once again. Shocky with that singular flashbang. Can be quite good to go for a short once again. He has to be facing towards middle, gets a headshot in on towards Joffa, but he's got more firepower there. The M4A4 takes a head off Shoxy. Five on four, they don't need to overcommit at this point. Man needs to be a little bit careful. Doesn't want to give his frag away at this point, especially his weapon as well. He's got no one to trade the frag. So we'll be patrolling towards middle, like I said, Ooh. towards short as well they'll be heading. I thought Body was going to go through that smoke. Mir was in perfect position and Body has bomb. Now, I know it's just a third round procedure for the T side, but getting that bomb down is something they definitely want to do. Scream's taking down JR. That gives them a bit more space to try and do exactly that because Chopper's low and they find him at Goose. Good shot from Scream again to do so, but he gets taken out. Now they'll have Catwalk covered off. Mir already with the M4 is going to take out Smith's RPK falls, but bomb down. Big objective achieved. They get two yeah. plants out of the first three rounds, and that's going to allow them a decent buy in the next. Absolutely. They'll have a strong buy. Smith's with 3K at the moment, so he can certainly buy the AWP. The guys pointed out, though, we're actually starting to see Shoxy move on to the primary role, maybe on the CT side more, not so much on the T side, um, but it's, it's interesting they are starting to change things up slightly. I think on the T side, it will be sticking in the hands of Smith's. To be fair, you say that. 
And Shock's actually only had, I think, five rounds. He started yesterday with it, but he didn't go back he, to it he, very often. He went back to, like, I think once or twice when they went to double up setup, right? So, like, it, it was a mixed bag. That's what it, it wasn't Smith's primary for the, the whole time. Obviously, I think he's the main orb, but it's just they, they are kind of experimenting with different setups. Shock's is definitely a lot more aggressive and dynamic than Smith, so when they need that, Shock's he seems to step up to the plate. Well, then. Smith doesn't catch them on cross, tries to do so, but Body and RPK and Shock's all heading into the B tunnels. Look at the push-up cat. This is interesting. Smith is going to get down suicide. He's got bomb. Needs to be careful because Chandra's very close with the UMP. He's tagged what? up bomb down already. <laughs> bomb. WP available, but I think he'll stick to the UMP for now because they're going to be close to him. He's going to want to be ready for this. And JR, I take that back because Chandra goes straight to the op find screen. <laughs> JR was pushing up and keeping them away because he locked them into lower tunnels. This is brilliant. Yeah, this is really nice indeed. It's going to be a five on two now. That aggression with the UMP finds the bomb, picks up the orb, and another frag as well. Now it's just up to body and shocks. Patrolling towards lower B. But at this point, they can even afford to leave that bomb in T spawn. They don't necessarily have to look towards it. They are in safe positions at the moment. At the moment, you can see Body, though, coming in from T spawn. He has to make something happen there. And that smoke goes a little bit further than it should have done. It lands in the Molotov there, but still some room to move here for Shoxy. We saw this yesterday on... Uh, I was about to say Mirage on Cash. Wow. Lovely shot again from Shander. Body ready for it. Had everything else covered off by his teammates. Shocks in the open. Good headshot to finally take him down. Gets a second as well on JR. Now, the question with that, I think... I didn't quite catch it. Yeah, he got there. Okay, they did just get there in time before the round expired. I was going to say, did he get them far enough away from that AWP that they can't grab it? They did get it. So JR will have that this round. We saw this on Cash yesterday. They do this very aggressive style. We yeah. saw the boosts in the middle. We saw the five-player sandbags. I think they're kind of taking advantage of being the unknown underdog Absolutely. team. They're doing completely unorthodox plays, and no one's expecting it. This is uh, fantastic for them so far. I really like that. You've got a UMP there. Let's see what we can get towards top and middle. Boost it up nice and fast. Smiths had no idea as well. He blows his head off with the UMP, picks up the AWP, and he looks so confident in that position as well. Wins the hand, single, wins around single-handedly there. And it's going to be round number five. Uh, that's a partial by here. How much is Shoxy got? Obviously, he saved the weapon in the previous round, so he's got the AK. They've got some deagles. A little bit of a partial by going on, but Murr, continuing that aggression, takes a tick of Molotov damage there, so that does make a sound, so he has to fall back. And now then, no grenades apart from that one smoke in the hands of Shoxie. That's going to be presumably going towards City Spawn, which it will. They'll try and do some sort of B split at this point. Shoxie leading the charge. They still can win this round, so let's see if Chopper can hold them off towards mid. Smith's posted with Bomb. RPK with him inside of tunnels, but Shox, as you say, is out in the spots up shadow. Let's get shot on Mir before he wraps around. Good reactions, good pick. That'll open up an opportunity to try and take advantage of B, but they're not going to push through and hold that off just yet inside of middle. They don't have the weaponry to do so. More importantly, they don't have the smoke to go off on CT spawn. So with Chopper already rotating over, they'd rather brawl inside of the site, get there before Chopper can rotate through the door. He's done that already, but his teammate's gone down. He's got to stand tall on his own, backs away. Probably the smarter thing to do in this situation. They've already got an AK in the hands of Shocks. He goes down inside door. It's an M4 with them inside of the site on a 3-2 retake against Vega. So smart, efficient play from Chopper. Good damage as well on body. Doesn't quite take him. Yeah. But he's got to wait just a little bit longer before he commits because his teammates now are just posting up. They probably want to use that smoke towards the B tunnels. Yes, JR does that. Smoke off the tunnels. That eradicates that risk. They've got a flash left as well. Got to go in together. The all difficult on the retake. That's a decent flash. I think Chopper's actually been flashed by his own teammate. It's falling apart now for the CTs. There's one player remaining and they can't do it. The retake, not successful there. And it will be Shocks with a four-man, the one AK that was saved over. We always said he's going to be the danger man going into these scenarios. They lose four in a row, but he steps it up there in a big round. I have to say, that flashbang going to the to be site looked like it was the team that got him. And uh, could have actually got the player who was planting at to that point. To be fair, that was actually a bot AK. So he purchased that oh, in the last. Did he not save that from the last? No, nope, he went down on round oh, really? four. He went down after he took out two in middle, so he purchased that wow. in round five. Well, there we go. So that's audacious and it works. I like it. Taking a risk, taking a gamble. You said they're Definitely good on the force plays. You said that on round two on this map. We know it's their home territory. Well, here we go then. But she's going to push. RPK is in good position for this. Problem is there's two, so can they trade it? There's a second player in body on top of the stairs. They line up. It's so easy for them. They still manage the shot on body. I'll give them credit there. But RPK gets two in response. B's wide open. Yeah, absolutely. Well, God, Smith takes that job. But that B is definitely open at this point. Four on two. JR and Kashanda are going to be the last players remaining here. They have got an M4, but uh, retaking the B bomb site, you saw how difficult it was before. This scenario, pretty much impossible, unless they get two early frags. While they're crossing over, the bomb's not quite there yet. But at this point, my main objective would just be saving the weapons that are up. It will be that M4 and a CZ. If they can maybe upgrade that from one of the fallen comrades, we'll see. I mean, that's a possibility. Doesn't look like it, because Shan is actually towards long doors right now. Not sure what he's holding for. Yeah. He'll be waiting there a while. Yeah, I think so. Head armor, kit, CZ. They don't have a lot of money, rather than the CZ. That's, a, that's the least important of the two that he's got. 
of the three mentioned things that he's got the armor and kit being a lot more important to save over as to with JR's M4, he's backed away. Kashander will now go point man between the two, push through and get information so that the M4 survives. If they were to get found, then Shox is just getting in that position. He's got himself posted against the wall. Good position to be in because Shox wasn't ready for him to be there. So that's one pickup. And with no one else around, take your pick. M4 or AK. Obviously, go for the AK. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. He picked up a smoke and a flashbang there as well. He's got the kit. So he survives. That's actually a reasonable upgrade from him. They don't win the round, but uh, they go for the aggressive push here. Yeah? You can see they're both focused towards those uh, lower B steps. RPK can't believe his luck. Sprays two down. They do find one kill in the process for the round. Pretty much over that point. Smith's a nice little wall bang there through the mid doors. So, decent round for G2. Well, we'll see what kind of buy Vega Squadron present to us here. But the fact they've saved two weapons could be tempted to force buy into this one. I don't think they will, all things considered. Try and see what you can do with the two weapons here. Maybe go towards long, stack one area of the map with the, the actual heavier weaponry. Maybe crossing over, and it's through the door once again. Smith's getting lively here. He headshots at G, and we go down to a five on four. And it's, they love the B side, G2. So they'll be just rushing straight in at this point. Already through his shocks. Mirror inside that door's gonna show himself. That's gonna leave Shocks exposed to the left because his teammates not quite in a position, obscured by the box. They're still trying to get inside of the site. They do so effectively. Both players go down. It'll open up for a plant once more. And I think, again, we're going to have the same situation. Same two players yeah, backing away exactly. from this. They'll get a little close for exits, but they're not going to go for this. They just want to save those weapons. The exits aren't really that valuable to them. They're going to be wanting to save the two weapons, have that stronger buy going into round number eight. But a pretty simple procedure for GT. Like I said, they really do love this B bomb site. It's quite rare for them. Like we, They were one of the teams that actually used to do lots of heavy A executions. But now they're more than happy just to walk into the B site, one of the tighter choke points. Not even with a split. They'll happily send four players through the tunnel itself. And especially if they're Smiths get a pick like that at the start of the round. They're going in all day long. It was Shoxy leading the charge out with the MAC-10. Didn't actually find any kill, but he can get towards a lot of information in those mid-doors, do some damage, push the CTs back off, and his teammates picked off the frags there. So the two weapons do get saved by Vega Squadron. Where's the knife health for BY going into round number seven? They can drop weapons and spread the wealth around. Here's another wall bang from Smiths. Two in a row. Why not? Works out very nicely. He's feeling it. He's stepped it up as of late. I'll give him a nod on that, but... As you say, they've found something in this B site. Question is, how many times is that going to work? They've got spawns that are pretty neutral right now. So I imagine EWP peaked down mid once more. No EWP on the CT side either. They did have the option to go for it. They elect not to. They're going to stay on the rifles. Chopper could have easily picked that up. Not so lucky this time. Smiths? No. no I don't know attention. if we can call it luck. Bit of skill involved, obviously. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's definitely a default for now for the Terror Agency. Uh, two on two set up there with Smiths towards Suicide Alley. And then two outside long. Just going to be pushing any CT aggression back here. Flashing over, trying to bait out some orb shots. Again, for short control by the looks of things that Xbox Smoke set down nice and early. And Shoxy is going to have some confrontation here from two defending CTs. Shander. Oh, that's a little bit tight. He wants into the stairwell to surprise them. The problem is they're just close enough. I don't know, almost rather him stay facing forward to peek it, but he's trying to be sneaky and not show himself at all to get there. Had a chance to make up for it. He did get in the position, but they already had crosshair placement on him. The good thing about playing short of the CTs is if you don't find any um, terrorist confrontation at all and they're going towards B, you've got a fast rotation back towards middle, lower B or the mid doors as well. So you can see why Vegas Squadron are trying to get players on that side of the map just to kind of, if they do come short, you can challenge them. Unfortunately, this time they do lose that first player and in a horrible situation now. And G2 going towards long, this is almost perfect. You can see they've pulled a lot of attention away from the A side, even after finding the pick there. They can walk out towards long here. Shoxy, he's showing his hand towards short, but his teammates, four of them, coming out very quickly towards long. I quickly take JR this time, the only one left on the A site. Playing behind box. Letting them get there. Crossover. You know, knows they're gonna be on ramp spots. The first one jumping up, but he is well on the ledge. Starts to take a step back. His aim gets set by that. And all of a sudden they've got the site taken away. Chopper's done well to hold off Smiths at long. It doesn't mean they have the best post plant situation, but RPK, he's rectified that situation and it's Hoochie trying to find information by jumping at elevator. Yeah. A little bit desperate at this point. I think he's had to pull back. The round is well and truly over there. Pretty nice stuff there from G2 overall. That's a classic default. You're kind of feeling out the map, seeing where the CTs may be setting up, get some information in terms of where the grenades are going. The southern map, we're going towards long. It worked out a little short. Nice early pick there. They go back towards long after waiting for about 10, 15 seconds. And you can see Vegas Rodman just expected to be a B attack at that point. They go towards long. Shocks here up short. He takes the attention away, gets the intel as to where that CT player is. They take him down. Not really much they can do on the retake there. Good post plant positions. And there it is. Four in a row now for G2 after going 4-0 down. Smithsy. Smithsy. Shocksy. Smithsy. Smithsy. Going for a little it bit works. of damage there. Yeah, it all works. It's his birthday. We can change his name up. Yeah, I'll give you that. Shock's going to take down Kashan. Not much they can do on the CT side this time. Dink does go back the other way. Was that 
heard from far. I think it was actually just the MAC-10 hitting the first bullet. Shocks waits over at stairs. Good headshot. Better one on the second. Both pushing through. Both caught off. Five in a row now for G2. Vega, we said that they were a little bit unorthodox. They tend to rely, I won't say rely, but to take advantage of those situations where they can be, like I said, the unknown team where you don't really expect it. They throw you a curveball. That, yeah. that only goes so far. Dust, and now they're just getting outskilled by G2. Dust 2 is a little bit more difficult to be have that unknown quantity, right? It's only a few waging players. Either aggressive or you're playing standard positions, right? There's not really too much you can do. Well, it would be interesting to see what they bring to the terrorist side, but double orb setup now after losing five in a row. I think that makes sense. Smith says fire through the mid doors. No damage connected this time. They're going for a more traditional setup. There's three players towards long. Stop the rush at the start of the round. And then you fall back. Your orb will go towards car. And presumably they'll have one of the turrets towards mid or the beast of the map. It's going to be Mur this time. You can see him getting flashed off. Has a chance to take down Shoxi here, but uh, can't find the shot just yet. JR has got on the catwalk with off. Oh. Hmm. That was desperately close. He would have been spotted by that if the eyes, the peripherals were working, so he had to take it. That's better, though. Hit shocks drops down pretty straightforward. Now he can get toward car or ramp. It's up to him. Some players still prefer ramp. I know Chris J, one of those players. I pushed back question becomes this, because Chopper's going to commit to this mid position, which means less of a rotation, less of a swing factor to support the AWP in A if they drop it right now. This actually could work, because they're posting up to go through the doors. And he's waiting. Oh, gun barrel. Patience. Patience. Good hit on the first. AWP's the second. The rifle down. AWP can't do anything. Desperate to swap it over. He makes it work as well. That is risky to try and go for the AK rather than the reload and leave himself exposed. He makes it work. Missed shot on RPK. Actually, I think it lagged him. 16, because I thought that was on, but it's going to leave it to him to find one kill, one versus four, though, 16 HP. Push all you like, try and catch them off. That's a brilliant shot, to be <laughs> fair, on JR, but dead immediately after. Well, there it is. It's JR, the double orbs that are working reasonably well. They missed a couple of shots to kick things off there, but finding that nice little drop on Shoxy there, and then G2 trying to patrol the mid area. Chopper, there's in a great position. This was a nice recovery, picking up the AK and then dueling scream like that as well. Coming out on top, that's quite rare for him to happen, but G2, the reaction now after losing one round, double orb set up. Smiths and Shoxy did say Shoxy's being experimenting more of the orb recently. He seems to be more than happy to bring it out on Dust2 especially. We'll see whether he can get joining in with the fragging as well. He's actually been doing very well at the AK. It's Smiths who's been getting a couple of wall banks. I think both the kills he's got right now, he's got two. Both have been wall banks through mid-doors. Hasn't done much else apart from that. There it is. Here we go. A bit more aggressive from Shoxy. Yeah, barrel shot. Watch the boost from Pucci though. They've got to spot this. First one definitely going down. Flash. Mistimed. Forces them back. He can change his angle but goes to the pistol. Not the reload. Has to. And it catches them off, a scream will recover. That will give them B sight. They've left bomb and tunnels. They'll go back for that, but they have lots of time to do so with, I was going to say mid control, because Shandri pulled that back on Smith's. Massive potential for Body to find a play in this, but he's going to take the safety and go back to the sites. 5 5, remember, elimination match for G2. They've got economic control right now, but they can't afford to lose rounds in this middle of the first half. As soon as you start giving that up, very easy to swing it this late. You don't get the bonus built up that quickly. This could go 9-6 if they even lose this or the next one. So they've got to be careful. And Smith is doing exactly that by posting up. Bomb's still not entered into the site, though. They are just being very cautious at this point. Yeah. 51 seconds. Well, they've got the smokes. They've got the Molotovs right now. They have run out of grenades at this point. And that's a little bit sloppy for Joxy. No one actually watching the window area. It is recovered. Almost secures the round at this point as well. JL with no kit. And there might be one lying around. But he's got a couple of flashbangs and this orb. Is it worth the saving this weapon at this stage? Still a two-on-one. He'll see what he can do here. The smoke's starting to dissipate towards those doors. So what's the plan here? And I got ahead of myself. I said elimination match. It's, this is 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Calm down, Sado. Body's going to take back JR. But, I mean, even still, you think about who's in the, two, the O2 right now. You get matched up against either Cloud9 or Envy. There's no safe bets there if you go down to 1-2. and two. And Vega, I mean, it would be huge to go up 2-1. Well, there we go, then. This is the shot we missed on Smiths. Nice work from him. He seems like the mid-doors is where he's doing the majority of his work at the moment, and that's actually going to break the economy of Vega Squadron. It's a pretty harsh reset. They go down, so around 2k, a little anomaly is going to be Kashenda, who's on 4,500. Doesn't buy anything, which is kind of interesting for him. You would expect an upgraded pistol at least. But a deagle for Chopper, CZ for Hutchie, and once again, in towards B we go, and Shoxi starts to He's hunting for some frags here towards Long. He's more than happy to just go down. He'll commit. See if he can take a couple down with him. Halfway along. But better still. Again, they find B. Yeah. It's B, 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 B. I mean, we haven't even seen, like you said, you nailed it. These guys are known for their execution on A. They love to throw what we call the isolation smoke toward yeah, Long. they've changed that recently. I guess it's, they got to the point where every team was doing that every single round. They just do the default into an execution. It was so solid. 
And now it's just got to the point everyone's expecting it, right? So now it's going one risky walk into B. Everyone's going to be stacking at the A sort of site. Let's just actually do the exact opposite. We'll just walk into the site, which is so unexpected normally. And I have to wonder if it's a bit of a response to the read and the fact that guys like Chopper, Kashander, they've been playing Cat aggressively rather than more passive. They're going to catch him off exactly in that position. So 7-5 now, G2. This is what we're talking about. They can control the half. They ride it out at this point in time. If they lost the last one, it becomes a different story. They've got enough money to buy out for the rest. The next three, if they don't go too heavy on AWPs, we've seen them go double up at one point in time. They're going to stay single this time around. On the other side, not great. They'll force in what they can, including a UMP and a FAMAS. Indeed. It's another difficult round. You can see they've got no hard armor, not a big deal against terrorists, but no defuse kits. That is a problem. A UMP as well. So let's see what they can do here. It's round number 13. This round, this half has been rather exciting, I have to say, in terms of the initial aggression from Vega Squad and then G2, especially Shoxy turning up in an emphatic manner. And it will be him facing towards Shorty. You can see they were thinking about going towards B once again. If he got that pick towards Long, he had that decent spawn. We talk about Dust2 being a spawn based map. If he'd have got that first kill, I guarantee you they'd have been straight into that B site five or six seconds later. But you can see now a bit of an adjustment for Vegas Squadron this time. Three towards the B side of the map. You can see that right now. Hudji, JR, and Murr actually playing together. And that's more of a gamble. And it actually could work out as well. You can see now G2 collecting in the tunnels once again. Shocks hit a distraction. And they're just so committed to this side of the map. I'm curious to see how Shox, oh. see, that's a, oh, it doesn't even matter. Now they're going to pull away. I was going to see if Shox jumps down and tries to catch off Mir, but again, they're just finding these picks. Mir gets one, backs out, actually catches a second on Smith's on them doing so, but smoke there, they'll cross, bombs going in, Shox sneaking out the mid doors. It's going to be in behind Mir, catch him off. Kashander and Chopper, meanwhile, rotating the long way out, but they post Perfect. it up at long, and exactly that, Shox is going to catch them off. He's just such a thorn in their side, is he not? He's in a distraction of the style around, and he's in a perfect position for the rotations as well. Vega squad, and yes, he had a couple of kills, but they've been locked out of this round since the moment it started. Perfect execution there from G2. B works out once again, screen finishing things off there. Three players survived. The money's just swelling beyond belief right now for G2. They've got a lot to work with there. I think they're all around the 10k mark. Is the opening kill from Smiths. Came down to this moment, really. It's such a difficult position to go towards that barrel. It's so hit and miss. Unless you've got an all ready to go as well, you nail that first shot, you're going to get taken down. And Mer gets a couple, but that's pretty much all they get going in this round. 8-5, another eco comes in for the Russian side here. So 2k, can't really do too much with this. Stack towards B maybe, or nade long. And oh god, both of them get tagged for the door, Matt. It's happening. It is happening. Can we talk about Shox? You just mentioned how well he's playing and how perfect position he is. He's at 17 kills. Yep. This is round 14. In 13 rounds, he achieved that. Smiths gets two on a Mac 10 this time. Shox make it 18. First half 20 bomb, Henry. Yeah, well, if you get 20 There's kills 19. in one half, that's normally considered godlike status. Because so that means you're on track for a 40 bomb, right? So Perfect that uh, perhaps Richard introduced him as the most electric player he's going to be playing in this game, because right now that's exactly what he's being. This is if pretty he's impressive. A, if he's on form, like, he can't be the most exciting player. And look at this bike coming in. Two auto snipers, three ops. It's always a little bit disappointing when no one dies. I have three auto snipers now. I want someone to die. Surely, <laughs> when you've got three auto snipers, someone has to go down. It always oh, seems to be a little bit of a man. letdown when we build this up. Come on, let's have it. Come on. How they went to it, and they, there's two one, ops. They decided tag. collectively, like, all right, I'm going to go to an auto. They got a tag. That's it. You're right. One tag. Oh, I, like, when you get, like, two kills and that, it's always so satisfying. But when you just get one tag, it's just like, well, okay, we've left a load of all the snipers and T-spawn now. Better make sure they don't get those. And, well, the interesting thing is normally you fall back onto rifles. They actually went double up for a second. Shox has changed that. He's gone back over to an AK. Well, at this point, you want to operate pretty quickly. They do get towards T-spawn and give them all those sniper rifles. could be a little bit of a problem. Though. Do you think they're letting Shox go? I think they're going to give him the charge here. They want him to get this 20. They're all sitting back at default, and he's attacking. It's gone. No chance. He'll end on 19 for the half, but not to take anything away from that. That's pretty remarkable. Yeah, indeed. Anyway, start coming in there towards middle. Normally designed to take players down towards short through the smoke, but this time finds Shoxy wandering by himself there. This actually looks quite a promising round for the Vega squadron. And now we can see Kashanda. He's pushing in towards T-spawn as well. Actually in those long doors for now, but a short attack coming in from the T-side. Short attack with a postum JR on the ramp, tries to find that opening shot. Tagged up so far, now he certainly is. Body slaps him in the face with an AK. It's a pretty hard slap, to be fair. Body's gonna fall back as well. Molotov down below, right click just to drop it, make sure they can't rotate through CT as Bomb goes down and they post up in the according positions. RPK behind door, gonna catch off Hochi. Yeah, that's He'll push through now as well. Mirror's ready for that. It was the right play. You can try and pincer them back in, but giving himself up, it does open a bit of possibility considering the HP on the G2 side. 
This a is body, nice. exactly. Second man through, that's not going to be expected. Spots feet, goes for the first shot. Doesn't get it, but it does distract the aggro long enough for Scream and Smiths to find responding kills. Smiths now left alive, though. AWP, 20 HP, good shot from here. Back into the site, and they'll pick up yet another round. It's going to be 9-6. Not the worst situation, all things considered. Well, they got that great start, didn't they? The 3-0 in the pistol with that amazing play towards long. It was unbelievable, the sign of USP. Then that really aggressive first gun round as well. Got the 4-0. G2 came to life at that point. It's like to run away with it. Take it back, bomb went off. They didn't get it. No way. That's going to be 10 rounds G2. They didn't, they didn't quite get it without a kit. It <laughs> I just... heard the celebration. I thought that was it. I did too. I thought they had that. And then, nope, absolutely not. Just loses it in the end. So it's going to be G2 picking it up. That's actually quite disappointing for them. I thought he had this. And I was actually looking at scores and all of a sudden realized, oh wait a gosh, minute. It's yeah. not quite there. He just missed it. It seemed like such a lock. That is so close too. That's, oh, that's heartbreaking. So 10-5, G2 get that. And you're right, they had the perfect start. You get 9-6. Five rounds in a row, they win one. They get reset, lose six rounds in a row. Would have been another five. Or rather, excuse me, four, five rounds in a row, they would have lost four. If they could pick up 9-6, win pistol, you go 9-9, nine, nine, it's still a game. That actually hurts them quite a bit. Well then, 10-5, double digits have been achieved for G2. A surprise last round going in their favor. And it will be Vegas Squadron. We talked about this before. Long is very favored on the T pistols here for Smiths. They'll be waiting for them. Can't land the shot just yet, but finally nails JR. And he's going to be backed up by RPK at this point. Should be the five on three. Doesn't look like the final terrorist will be committing at this point. Smith, so he wants a little bit more out of this. That's going to be the bomb pong as well. So if you can find them, that's going to be very valuable. But he spots the bomb, but doesn't find the frag. So at least now Vegas Squadron has something to work with here. Yeah, it opens it up slightly. Not much action in terms of trying to compensate by getting it toward mid. Hold them off a cat. They actually back away to cover the bomb sites instead. Two players out mid could be Kishander and Mur. This looks increasingly like B with Hoochie posted up inside the tunnels waiting for them to get position. Yeah, but you've got nothing from CT spawn. He has to operate very quickly. Body spotted them as well. He takes damage, so this could be interesting. He's still got another player who's screamed with him as well. Big commitment now, and the pincer comes in. Smart play from here as well. Once he pushes him back through the doors, he knows the second player's likely platform to watch tunnels, and he goes straight to the window, straight through. Not only finds the kill, shocks and body are so limited and forced out of this. Four HP for shocks, eight for body, make that zero. They've pulled this back. They've actually got the hot seat aside from one factor. That's RPK babysitting the bomb, and he's found the first kill already. Shocks might be low, but he can still be a factor in this because he can set the crossfire to steal the aggro. He's got to go now, though, if he's going to do it. Maybe not. RPK does it alone. Well, there it is. Towards long, three players at the start of the round, but Smiths and RPK locking them down, funneling back towards the B site. They go for that B split, but unfortunately, after looking like it could be promising, there was a couple of players on low HP. They lose the bomb by the mid doors towards CT spawn, and the players in B have to push out at that point. They're in such bad positions, and the CTs lock them down. Why is there a heart on Shoxy? Well, because we love him, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> That's simply that, why. Did you do that? I did not do that, but I do approve, considering the first half he had. Deserves the credit. <laughs> He's hit the 20 bomb now. It did only take the additional one round, so he came up short in the first half, but he still gets there in round 16. RPK is going aggressive again toward this long position. Four UMPs, only the one M4, and that's going to be on shocks. So well he done. plays a longer position, and quite literally at long toward Goose, meaning he has the entire corridor to shoot at should they elect to go that direction. It's going to be mid that they stack up in right now, though. Interesting, they didn't force by in the second round here. Most T sides, um, especially this sort of point, you're behind it, you want to get something, a little bit of uh, luck going against you. You want to be getting the Deagles tech knives just like uh, G2 did, but it looks like we're just going to go for partial by here, some upgraded pistols. Try and get the bomb down towards short. There will be the choppers on 42 HP. Run boost, very common in this scenario. Everyone seems to fail out. I haven't really seen a successful one ever, but that's a good one. And it will be a nice long jump there, and it looks like the bomb may be planted there, but Smith, he's got another plan for him. Oh, good shot on that Deagle, but this is the better fact. Smith goes near wow. Goose. They're going to think that's the only one there. Perfect position to deny it. Shocks. That is just great. Four kills for him. He's up to 24. I'm going to keep track of this. I have to give credit to Mir as well, by the way. He's on 14. He actually was only at around, I think, maybe eight toward the end of the first half. So he stepped it up late. That's, but. It's only against another player, right? But I felt like I had to applaud that. That was just so well played. In fact, he like he let his teammate die. He may look like he's baiting at that point, but he does such a good job and just like staying alive, being undetected. Takes, denies the bomb, takes four down, just so confident and assertive of what he's doing. It's actually really nice to watch there. Shoxi having an absolute blinder of a game right now. And it's another full eager here. No bomb going now for Vegas Squadron. So we'll be to Eagles, PT50s, and I'm assuming a 13-5 scoreline for G2 here. What started off as a really exciting game in terms of the rounds that were happening, what Vegas Squadron were doing, it's slowly turning into a G2 affair. Isn't it? it feels like it's slipping away from the Russian side at this point. Shander tagged on 13 at long. Push him back, body 
A push through, catches them off, finds that first pick in B tunnels. Kill distribution otherwise is actually quite even. Hoochie's a little bit behind everyone else, but it's just shocks dismantling them at every possible opportunity. Yeah. Right now he sits to cover off mid. That'll allow Scream, who has a crossfire set with him, to slowly back up toward B doors. And good thing he does so at the right time because Mir's already found his teammate. He's perfectly placed to take back JR and Bomb. They have to commit to this, but Mir again. We mentioned him as the individual there he skill. Is. It's one, but you're dead right. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the picture, Shocks. Run away. I would if I were Mir. Let's see. Two top fraggers in the server. Back and forth. Eagle's already found two, but Shocks, that's his second in the rounds. Keep it going. <sighs> oh, another eco there. Let's not get too excited. But Shocks is looking incredibly sharp right now. And it's going to be round number 19. We do have a buy available for Vega. So obviously didn't force into the second round, so they should have a nice strong buy here, including an AWP. So four AKs, and yes, JR does get the AWP. He's got no head armor, though. That is a bit of an issue against the M4s, but a double AWP set up a G2. They're starting things off. On their best foot, I guess. It's my favorite setup on Dust2, especially. We'll see whether they can win this first gun round. Uh, I'm sure some more aggression will be coming. His body is on the second reel. We saw that yesterday as well. He plays the B side of the map. Wants to set that turret up towards the back of the B platform. Looks like he'll be doing just that as well. Flashed in. Merc can't really go for the rush. He's actually setting up there, but he will get punished for even thinking about it. Pick. And again, RPK is going to post himself close to these long doors. He likes to do that, to be fair. He's always the anchor at long, but against these guys in particular, he's been playing very aggressive every single round. Smoke out, he won't push through just yet. Meanwhile, though, Chopper has gotten outside of in, in middle, outside of inside of middle. That made no sense, Henry. Yes, but I can, I'm here to save you, so it's going to be a B split coming in by the looks of things, but at this point, I'm not really sure what the plan is. Looking for a pick, just denied it at the moment, hoping JR can open things up towards window, but quite a defensive setup from G2. This is nice, you got that first pick, made the terrorist commit at this point, but the timing, JR was ready for that as well, just as he moves out of position, he gets taken down. Now it is a, a last ditch attempt to try and push into the B side, five on three. Interestingly, that shoulder bait though, that's third shot he took out from window, gives them the opportunity to get a lot closer, and they find the two kills on the way through because body goes down, Scream's not ready for that, and they get a bomb plant out of this. I know it seems like a rushed bomb plant, considering how fast they got in the site and how panic, panicked they were. It's actually not a bad situation because they have B site, which is extremely fortified with choke points to get back into. RPK's already made his way into tunnels, though. Low HP back toward the box. Oh, Great hello. shot. Takes his head straight off. Stops, posts, waits for it. But Hoochie, we said he was slow early on. He's stepping up now. Two kills in this round. Has the door waiting. Sprays through. Has to be careful. Two bullets left in that AK, and he's not going to reload it yet either. He's got to. Finally, he realizes it's time to do so. That'll give him the chance to get a little far forward, but Hoochie's going to clutch it back with three kills. Thank you for the AWP. And they'll pick up yet another round. Three kills for him. It seemed like a situation where G2 could run away with it once again. That was the vital shot there. Chopper opening at the bomb site, screaming towards the fence position. Very difficult scenario to be in as soon as your teammate goes down. And here's the final few kills from Hachi there. One food is smoking towards Shoxi. He'll be very happy with that as well. RPK with a hell of a shot from the B tunnels there towards the platform. But uh, not meant to be, it seems. We have got the double up set up once again for G2. Looking to completely shut down Vega Squad and they come down to a one on one in the end. So they do win this round. Could be very interesting indeed. Double orbs, 5 7 and a UMP, and Vega strike first. Yeah, it's one of the ops gone. RPK has a rifle. He's beside where that op went down at long. Smith will at least pull it back, but Scream, yeah, because this is what I was waiting for. How do they get that, that M4, or excuse me, that AWP back into play? Scream's going to rotate around to grab it. Gives up mid for a moment. That pulls Smith's out to door where he found the first pick to cover that off. And Scream, interestingly enough, is going to keep that op out toward long. So. Smart play, heads up play to be as fast as possible to get toward that gun and get it back up. But Smith is gone. He was glass cannon. It didn't even matter. He's found by an AWP. JR, good start to the round. Two kills for him. Indeed. Well then, JR with the bomb as well. That's a long for now. At this point, they have that man advantage. Still a minute to work with. They have one smoke remaining. Not ideal, but certainly you have the upper hand in this scenario. RPK waiting towards those long doors. Can be a very strong position indeed, considering the lack of utility. They might not overcommit to this one. Get the first kill almost. Gifted it as well, and it's RPK cleaning up. Three frags, all headshots, lights them up. And now it's going to be just up to Merv. Three versus one. RPK single-handedly decimates them there. The body's in good position. Mir's going to run back down middle. Thank you very much. Down he goes 14 to 6 for G2. Two rounds to go. Not a lot of money left over for the Vegas side either after that. That's only one round, so it's only $1,400 that they'll get. Yeah, like, to be fair, like, it's it's quite a cool moment. It looks quite pretty there, but if you think about it, for RBK, he can't believe his luck. They're just jumping out one by one, not even checking the position he's in. It's not too crazy there. It's quite an easy procedure for a player like him. Triple up setup. Why not? For G2. Okay. 
Body long, Smith's middle, <laughs> shocks B. Can, like, in this sort of scenario, they're going to win the round regardless. Like, it's not all for dogs, it's sure, but against pistols, the force by of UMP as well. They're getting aggressive, they're feeling confident. Ooh. And they're going to come lower B as well. Body, can he land this shot? This is much different than I thought. So, shocks went long, he had the spawn for it. Smith's baits one and off that first up shot. Body gets away from this as well. Two ops now in middle trying to find shots. They're going to realize it. This could even funnel them out toward long where there's a third op. It's not common we see plays like this. However, Smiths gets caught off as they push through that smoke. A little bit of a flash over and he backs away. Gets caught by the Tech-9. So one of them's down already. Back to four versus four. So to give the advantage onto G2. RPK. Another good shot. Another headshot as well. So four in a row in terms of headshots for him. MG tries to bait out a shot at B. But really, what's the plan for Vega? Post up and go for a B split. You still have body with an AWP inside of spawn. Shocks is waiting on A ramp. He can swing down and cover through the spawn. Should his teammate go down? That's not going to happen. He finds the first shot. And scream. Patient accuracy as ever. Looks to try and close this and put it on map point. This single kill will do it. It's just a hair remaining. Goes to a pistol instead. Mm. He taps away all his bullets. Oh. Can't finish things off. I'm sure he would like to, but this will be 15 6 at this point. JR 4 and 1. UMP, no nades. He has got the bomb, though. One thing working in his favor at this point. 56 HP. I guess he just walks into the B. Try, try and aim L dual scream with UMP. Good luck with that, my friend. <laughs> and uh, gets taken down, and there it is. Map point. And G2. After going down 4 0, Matt, it's, it's been difficult to see a world where Vega could even get back into this one. And that man on the screen right now been unbelievable. 27 kills with him. RPK has had a decent game as well on 19. But uh, yeah, I think after this round, it's certainly going to be over. They've got Deagles, Tech Nines, and a few nades. And no triple orb setup this time. But G2 have got the double orb setup. Three M4s, all the grenades you need, all the fuse gets, absolutely everything. Shouldn't be a problem. Three out toward long to battle this early. Body and screen posting mid, and Mir, JR, Hoochie are all going as fast as possible with pistols on to B. There's a chance they could have caught them off, but Scream smartly gets to the window. And immediately flashes, Body adds an additional smoke. That's going to slow them. So it's on the shots. 27 kills. That's where it sits, for at least for now. We're not necessarily done. Mm. Shander will grab the M4 off that. There we go. They have got something to work with. There's, there's a fire going up in case coming from long, but he only finds one, but body, he's on the chime in as well. Kishan has gone down to 34 HP. There's a three on three for now, so the double up set up. Good flashbang. And body has to fall back, but they won't strike at this point. The bomb's turning towards T spawn as well. Interesting thing about this bomb and T spawn, there's a gun at the top of middle from the push, and there's a gun down in middle where body got the kill. They want those guns. Body's still babysitting them. That smoke off means they can finally get to at least one of them. There's two rifles they can still play with if they can get there. Shander's very hesitant to do so. I think JR will throw one of them, maybe even, and grab the second. Well, then, this is it. Interestingly, they didn't go for it. Yeah, it still sits on the ramp. I would have gone and grabbed that M4. Yeah, you're right. It's actually accessible to them as well. 40 seconds remaining. They're going B. Scream to wait. M4 in hand. Finds one. Finds two. They line that up, make it a little bit easier than it should have been, but it's JR to keep us alive. Take us to the bottom of the ninth as he crosses over. One tick of the Molotov, and rather than plant, wants to get to the window. Quick check to make sure he's got the time. Hmm. Baits it out. They've actually already gotten to positions. He's going to have to go for it now. And hold it inside of the boxes. That gives him safety. Doesn't matter about post plant. It's just him and a one versus two reload, though, and they get that close. Not the time to do so. That'll end it. G2 will take it <laughs> 16 to 6. Yeah. Knock Vega down onto elimination and put them forward with just one win remaining from the major. It started off interesting, Matt, like we said. They win the pistol in emphatic fashion as well. The three man towards long. They get the 3 0 against the four spies of G2. They win that first gun round with a UMP push up middle. We thought, okay, we've got a game on our hands. And fortunately, Shoxi, RPK, they started to wake up. Smith was having a very decent game as well, and they just completely ran away with it. 27 seven kills in total for Shoxi, looking very, very good indeed. In fact, uh, do show some individual skill again. Mir looking pretty sharp, but they are on the chopping block, as we might have expected. We'll see if they can survive in their next coming match tomorrow. We're going to move on.